Good morning, YouTube land, family and friends who are tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I have some fun stuff planned, but I'm gonna be adding in a couple more tubes up front where the windshield V-bar is, or the upside down V uh, for that matter, uh, so that I can get the engine head mounts dialed in and mounted uh, on this particular build. There is going to be uh, two points of engine mounting uh, just to limit drive line movement and rotation. Everything is going to be bushing mounted for a little bit of flexibility. So it's not gonna be hard mounted. It won't be completely solid. The bushings will give it a little bit of give and you know maybe over time I'll have to swap those out. But in general, uh, it'll be a lot stiffer uh, than it would be normally. So anyway, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's dive in, let me show you where I'm at and then time to fabricate. This is mock up pretty much what I am going to be doing as far as my head mounts go. So where you guys see the blue tape right now, there's gonna be tube, tube. Then I have a quarter inch steel plate that is going to mount on the back of each heads and it'll pretty much just bolt on each side. And then off of that steel plate, uh, I will weld tabs and I will weld the bushings and then I'll connect that to the tube on each side. And then that will kind of solidify my head mount design as well as give the chassis a little bit more support on the sort of dash bar. Uh, Cause if you guys look, let's say I were to do like a flop or a roll and kind of the pressure from the top of the cage hit and went down all that pressure would sort of transfer through to these V bars here and then it would stop. Um, you know, and I could potentially tweak out the, you know, dash bar, you know, and, and whatnot. So that is the plan. So I'm gonna get these tubes put in and uh, yeah, if, if all works and clears well, then we are gonna continue on. And if it doesn't, then back to the drawing board. So after a little bit of fine tuning and finagling, I got the passenger side in. And when I say it clears, and I did use just to specify here. So this is inch and a half, 120 wall DOM. Uh, most of the stuff in the chassis is inch and three quarter, same 120 wall, uh, but I have used uh, inch and a half in some select places for size, for weight for cost and for this mainly because of the passenger side I opted to go with the inch and a half and that gives me you know good amount of clearance and the beauty of having it here and having it uh, so far forward is that I could actually solid mount this and I don't have to do like disconnect tubes kind of like I was doing for the trans and the uh, transfer case and I can still get the you know transmission up and out because there's plenty of room to like slide it back pull it up um, those don't interfere uh, it makes it super nice because then when I do like a center kind of like dash you know I can actually tap into those tubes so anyway time to duplicate let's get the driver's side done don't go anywhere I got my head mount plate here. This is from Busted Knuckle Off-Road. Uh, I was actually going to make these myself because I was always planning on doing head mounts. 
And then I was talking to my buddy, uh, Rubber Ducky TJ, who you guys can find on Instagram. Super cool dude, super knowledgeable. And he was like, oh yeah, Busted Knuckle makes a head mount plate for LS engines. Went out and checked it out. They're all laser cut and pre-drilled and all that fun stuff. So saved me a little bit of time and they uh, look nice. Mine, you know, came drilled out with the uh, appropriate hardware size holes. His did not. Can't really, uh, you know, speak for what happened, but uh, maybe a little bit of quality control mishap is what it is. Sucks, but, you know, what are you gonna do, man? Anyway, at least I didn't have to pre-drill holes, so. Ryan, rubber ducky, sorry, dude. Anyway, <sighs> trying to get the momentum here. So, I already have one uh, section here mocked up. So I have my uh, connecting tube from the bushing to the plate. Uh, I have to do this side now. Let's get the uh, passenger side going and um, hopefully we can start welding a little bit. So, the head mounts are fully welded in. Uh, I did my first pass with .045 wire. Uh, I welded them in place, got as much as I could, which was actually a lot more than I expected. Uh, finished them up on the bench, brought them back over here to test fit everything, and these things are pretty dope, man. Just super happy with how they came out. So yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much a wrap on, on these bad boys. Pretty beat tonight. I am gonna obviously do a final cat pass in 1 16th. Uh, as far as tonight goes, uh, these things are in. Like I said, welded in place, test fit everything. Everything is all bolted in. So I got the front motor mounts. I got the rear head mounts. I have the transmission. Drive line is in which is epic. So this is gonna be great. This is obviously gonna help me um, ensure that there is less rotation in the drivetrain. You know, clearances are tight in certain areas, especially once I get, you know, links and drive shafts and exhaust and all that kind of fun stuff in here. There's not gonna be too much room and I can't have clank, 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 clanking going on. So that is going to help uh, obviously keep that uh, at a very minimum and then obviously the poly bushings will give it a little bit of support in play so it's not you know 100 percent hard mounted poly bushings these will have poly bushings this will have poly bushings because the pucks are going to come out they're just in there for welding purposes and that'll give the drive line just a little bit of momentum so it's not kind of completely fighting but anyway Super, super dope. I'm gonna throw a seat in here real quick just so you guys can kind of get an idea from a driver perspective. Driver's view, there is just over 11 inches of clearance uh, on the very bottom portion, so inside a tube to the lower corner. The key here is that this support is slanted inward, which gives the driver foot, the gas pedal foot, the ergonomic feel. So when you're, you know, kind of sitting and driving, um, your feet like to, you know, left foot would kind of like ergonomically uh, go slightly left, right foot would kind of go right. Um, and I kind of still have that ergonomic feel, you know, versus if it was straight, it would kind of be awkward. So there's lots of room here. You know, these are kind of my work boots. You know, I still have room on both sides, you know, um, as you can see. So this is touching the tube. This is touching the tube. You know, there's probably like a good three inch gap there um, in the middle. So, you know, if I'm using like hiking shoes when I'm driving or, you know, these boots, which I'll typically use sometimes when I go uh, wheeling, you know, definitely lots of clearance. So, you know, there's room for me to kind of, you know, do brake gas with single foot or obviously two feet. So lots of, lots of room. 
in this whole area here. So super happy about that. Cause obviously look, you know, foot room, you know, and being comfortable is a big factor in this. You know, I did sacrifice a little bit of foot room. You know, I could have definitely uh, had my floor pan come over a little bit more into this open area, but uh, to have the added strength and support, you know, going from the V-bar, you know, down through these tubes, you know, into the smaller tube, into the chassis, just to kind of stiffen everything up here. Uh, I think personally, that's the way to go. And then obviously, you know, kind of motor mountain uh, off of that tube just made it super convenient and easy. So anyway, guys, that is a wrap for this particular project on this particular video. I'm beat, I'm tired. Time to call this video quits and uh, wrap things up, but I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, uh, let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like what you saw. Definitely be sure to stay tuned because there's more to come soon. And as always, thanks for stopping by. God bless, and I'll catch you on the next one.